<laughs> Praise the Lord. Hey, how's it going? Oh man, pocket. You are so crooked. I, I just don't get it. It <laughs> if you guys could see this thing, it, it literally it's leaning like this, but Pocket's head is kind of I mean it, it levels itself out automatically. It's it's a great camera. Um, so praise God, I'm here. Um, I did have some outpatient surgery stuff going on. Um, so I had a few moles removed and um, a, about a month ago, um, I had one on the side of my face that was getting rather big and I had another one underneath my eye and, um, <clears throat> and I had one up here on my forehead. Well, the one that they looked on my forehead ended up being um, kind of cancerous or something. So I had to go to a specialist and the specialist, they, they actually took it off um, yesterday and stitched it up. So I got a couple of stitches and um, it's not a big deal. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Um, and then uh, what else is going on? Man, there's a lot of stuff going on today. I got gutter guys that are supposed to be here between 9.30 and 10.30 um, to replace the gutters on the back of the house. I'm going to try to get some of that on video. Um, it's kind of scary. The back of my house, it's straight down and there is nothing but bad to catch you if you fall off. Um, so <laughs> that's they're going to earn their money today. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh. Today, I should get the um, the audio adapter that I need for Pocket to be able to use an, a, an um, wireless microphone. Um, this this should bring the audio, audio quality up a bit. I shouldn't sound so much like this. <laughs> so um, it should be a bit better. Um, so that'll, that should help tomorrow's video. Um, let's see. Um, it, it's just so good. It's just so good to be a believer, you know, isn't it wonderful? I mean, yeah, especially when you got, when you got so much going on and you know, you got a laundry list of things that you got to take care of and keep up with. And, and it is just so nice to, you know, stop for a minute and take a deep breath and just know that Jesus is right there with you. It's really incredible. Um, so anyway, I wanted to share a little bit more about uh, setting the tone. Oh man, it only took Becky and I about 48 hours to let everybody know on the sack who we were. <laughs> so uh, um, let's see, day one. Um, so getting into the house, that was, that was um, a scene. And then um, uh, day two, um, so our yard was really nice. I mean, I, I would say that when we first moved in, our yard was probably probably the best looking yard on the sack. This guy, he did take really good care of the yard. And in the backyard, when we did walk through in the house, there was a, um, a yard roller that was back there. And, um, um, and I was looking forward to using it. I just wasn't sure if the gump was going to be able to pull it or not. So, um, um, I was, I, the first day I got here, it, it just happened, it was in February, but it just happened to be some really nice weather. And, um, and I'm looking around for this roller and I can't find it. And then the next thing I know, I see the cheerleader's husband coming down my, my side yard. And um, he's like, hey, you know, my name's blah, blah. And I, you know, it's nice to meet you. He says, uh, so uh, Bobby, the guy I bought the house from, Bobby uh, gave me that, that roller. And I never had a chance to get over here and get it until yesterday. <laughs> this did not sit well with me at all. <laughs> it didn't. And, but I, uh, I figured, well, you know, it's like a hundred dollar roller. Um, fine. But I let him know that it was my yard and, um, now and not Bobby's. 
So don't be taking nothing else out of my yard, you know. So we didn't we didn't really get off to a good start with the cheerleader house, um, cheerleading house. We didn't do well with them. And then um, the very next day, we had everything in the garage, and uh, I mean it was packed to the ceiling, and um, there was some stuff towards the garage door. There was only like one light out there, so it was really hard to see especially when you're trying to peer into, you know, boxes and stuff like that. So I opened up the garage door, not thinking that Snoop, which was our boxer, um, he was just a pup. He was in that adolescent stage, you know. Um, he was just an oversized puppy, just wanting to play and love on everything that moved. Um, and I opened up the garage door to get some more light in the garage and he darts underneath the door and as the garage door is coming up, I can see that there's a little girl in the yard of the, um, uh, the to be auditor's house. His daughter is standing in the yard with her back to our house and Snoop is running across the cul-de-sac and as soon as he gets to her, both paws straight to the back, straight to her back and knocks her down face first and on, onto the ground. I'm running as fast as I can in my socks. She, the Snoop runs around to the front of her and is trying to lick her face and everything. She's terrified and she's only like five, six years old. Oh my God, my heart's just sinking. She gets up. She runs to the house, gets in the house, and Snoop follows her right in, and the door shuts. And I didn't make it. I was like in their yard when the door shut. So I'm standing outside on their stoop, and I can hear the mayhem <laughs> that's happening on the other side of this door. And I felt so bad. And the next thing I know, he comes to the door, He's got Snoop by the scuff, uh, scruff, and he's and and all he says is, he goes, "Is this yours?" <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, yeah, that's mine." So I took Snoop and went back home. Felt horrible about it. Tried to. Uh, Snoop had torn up the house that day. Um, he the the latch didn't latch on. Um, on his pen when we left for work. He got out and took every plant in the whole house and just shook it. <laughs> he had a great time. Had a family uh, family size bag of toilet paper that he had gotten into and ripped apart every single roll and had that drug all the way through the house. It was a mess. So I had to go to the store anyways and I Went to the store, picked up a new vacuum cleaner, and I bought this uh, great big teddy bear, the biggest one that I could find, and um, bought a bow and bought a card. And we put the bow on Snoop's neck, and I carried Snoop over there and knocked on the door, and me and Snoop apologized to this little girl, because I knew I, I blew up her world. Her nice, safe world, I just destroyed, you know? I mean, she was just enjoying herself in her yard, and then all of a sudden she's being mauled by this slobbery animal, this slobbery beast, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and I felt so bad. So we're trying to apologize to her, and, you know, we let her pet Snoop so she knew that Snoop wasn't mean, and, um, you know, just tried to, <laughs> just tried to fix it. But within 48 hours, we had really, really made our 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 um, presence known in the sack, <laughs> and it's just gonna get better. <laughs> so praise God. Um, I love sharing this stuff. I got there is some stuff that happens once we get once uh, we get into the foreclosure part of it. Uh, there is some incredible stuff that Jesus does uh, while we're standing in faith. I cannot wait to tell you about. It's going to be so cool. So um, God bless you. God love you. 
Um, you are the righteousness of God through Jesus Christ. And he is, um, you know, if you'll just rest in him um, and believe and trust that he does love you, um, he will work everything out that you need. So just rest, just, just rest in his love for you. And you'll see, you'll see great things change. Great things change. All right. I'll talk to you later. See you tomorrow. Bye.